testing. Hey, this play, is bam. always the awkward part. Oh man, I had a whole thing typed out. And I gotta type it again. Sucks. Yup. Um, yeah. Can you talk for can a second? It, I can talk for a couple seconds. <laughs> Hello, plant fam. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. It's, got, it's a very one-way conversation, because I don't really know what's going on. You can see their comments Oh, now. hiya. Hello. How we doing, folks? How's your... What day is today? Wednesday? How's your Wednesday? I think. I think. I know a lot of you are, are still probably, like, at work or whatever. Today, I made cookies. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. And they're really good. Because I used salted caramel chocolate chips. Yeah, they're a little too good. Am I a little blurry? Me? I don't know. I don't feel blurry. I mean, the Wi-Fi's on, so yeah, it should be okay. fine. Um, where am I? So there's a comedian, and his name is Mitch Hedberg, and he has this one-line joke that I always really liked, and he said, what if Bigfoot is blurry? <laughs> That's a good one. I enjoy that, actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I keep trying to take this out and then ruining it by accidentally exiting the window, so... Right, you I'm that just out. gonna tell you, since you, I don't think you can pin comments anyway. I don't know why. I'm I thought that was a thing. Sure, what you're doing in the live? I'm trying to tell you guys to change the chat at the top from top chat to live chat. Yes. So that you can keep up in real time with what people are saying and not get confused, and um, be nice, or I'll put you in a timeout. <laughs> That's right. There's literally a thing called timeout. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, everybody. So, And uh, super chats are always appreciated, obviously. Absolutely. I have in my hands a little willow snake. I have um, a fresh nugget refreshed. I hope it doesn't freak anybody out. But if it does, like, she's tiny, palm of my hand. She's just, yeah. like, chilling out and being really warm right now. So I'm just kind of... Hi, Angela. Hi, Nat. Being a good snake dad. John, everybody. Crystal, I see you. Thanks for being here, guys. So, I don't want to be here for like a super long time, but I have some things that I wanted to unbox with you. I'm really excited about this one. And I figured, oh shoot, let me turn off the fan so that it's not loud. No, this no not that one. She's that a was my butt. She's palm of the hand snake. You're just she's seeing, so cute. Her butt is just around my finger. She's just trying to be <laughs> Yeah, Mylene doesn't something. like snakes. <laughs> okay. She's teeny tiny. Really sweet. Um, yeah, some people just have like this fear of them. I don't really know exactly what that stems from. I know. I get it. They're, um, they're snakes. They're spooky. The way they move, maybe? I think the way they move is pretty cool. But... Yeah. I have some plant mail. I'm assuming it's plant mail. This is from The Next Gardener. I don't think there's any room. And <laughs> they basically just told me that they're sending me a package, which they do sometimes. And we're going to see what's inside. Going to a plant and reptile expo this weekend. I don't know why I read that backwards. My husband doesn't <laughs> mind snakes, but it's super, sh but it's super shook by worms. Worms can be freaky. That's sure. Weird. Maybe yeah. because they're small. You did read that backwards. Like small. I did. I'm a little dyslexic. A pleptile rant expo. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this box. Do it. I'm not going to stab you. You're fine. Um, I see dirt. Yeah, there's probably going to be dirt everywhere. And floof. Ooh, what's these? Dirt and floof. It's fine. <laughs> Do you need to move? No. Maybe we had a frame. No, I don't want you to move. I want to know what this is. It looks like an apron, maybe? Which I can use for my, <laughs> indoor, my indoor gardening. You know what? I'm going to start calling people Dirty Floof now. It is Dirty Floof. You're like, what's up, you Dirty Floof? Yeah, this is a little, oh. like, gardening... 
apron. Oh, how awesome is that? That's so cute. Isn't that cute? I like it. It's got like the leather straps. Will you think it's weird if I wear this while I tend to my indoor plants? I was just wearing an apron making cookies. Like, it's fine. It's what I, you do. I'll never lose my scissors again. It'll be all matchy matchy. No, that's good. It's nice. This is really nice, actually. You can, actually, you can just put it's Willow nice in the big fabric. pouch. You can have a little snake pouch. And you can just. <laughs> I'm not mad about that. That's no, cute. Nice. I'm excited. I started my seeds, if you guys didn't watch that video. And every day I wake up and I'm like, oh, my little baby sprouts. They're so cute, you guys. I'm literally growing like lettuce and stuff. Yeah. I found the mistake in your IG post on my first <laughs> read through. Oh, good you for you. I read it like seven times. <laughs> did, did you? And I was like, you know what? Screw you. I'm going to the comments to see um, what other so people you, said. You eventually knit it. I did. I gave up <laughs> because I'm freaking dyslexic and my brain is just like, yeah, that's a word. Yeah, no, that's good. I like it. Lost in Fnaud. My Willow heard the rapper and she looked at the screen for treats. Oh my gosh, my cats are like that. Every crinkle bag, they're like, so treats. Okay, so there's another box inside the box. Oh jeez. Oh boy. There's a bunch of... Succulents? Yeah. Ooh! That's why there's dirt. That is a lot of succulents. Oh yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do with all those? <laughs> I don't know. Put them in, a, in an arrangement and then give it to somebody? Okay. So I'm gonna put this bag over here for now. Yeah. Or like I like to include them in in the boxes when people buy stuff, if they don't hate succulents. Uh, what kind of snake is she? She's a blood boa. She's a blood boa. Okay, so if you don't like the snakes, just look away for a second. I'm gonna show her. And she's just all curled up in my hand right now and just kind of like resting. So her head's like under here somewhere, but that's it. She likes warm hands, so I'm just kind of. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, You're she's off screen. supposed to go in here. Oh, this is like a whole assembly thing. There, It's a heart-shaped... He said he was sending me something for Valentine's Day, but it's the, it's face the 22nd, so... Close enough. <laughs> it's a little bit late to be filming this as like a Valentine's thing, but... I thought it would be fun to unbox it and really mostly just hang out with you guys. And also, I didn't feel like having to like film and edit today, so I figured we would just do a live thing. Let me know if you like it. She is adorable. and uh, She'll just take yeah, the show. She'll, she'll end up being probably like four feet, maybe. Um, <laughs> Stick sizing up to you. No. Not, <laughs> she's going to have to get considerably bigger to put me down. Comes with decorative moss, which is cool. It is cool. And it's this really cute, like heart shape. It's nice. It's adorable. Yeah. I actually kind of want to put like cacti and stuff in it, but so the point of this is to make an arrangement with all of these. So there's like ten of these in there, and they're supposed to go in here. So. That is a project. And then there's one of these. Maybe a bigger, probably a bigger Echeveria, maybe. Ooh, no, oh. that one's cool. What's that? Oh, I like that one. Well, it's that's Senecio something big. or other. Well yeah, I'll keep this one. Yeah, it's nice. I like trailing succulents, and Senecio will do that. Senecio is the same as String of Pearls, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's always time to celebrate love. I like it. It's cute, right? I feel like I want to put, like, a cactus arrangement in here, though. Your snake is sizing up <laughs> to eat you, David. <laughs> I will need to lose a lot of weight for that to, for that to occur. She's so cute. Okay, so this is Senecio <laughs> Haworthii, also known as the cocoon plant. I think I had this on my wish list with them because it's weird. It's called a cocoon plant because it kind of looks like it's covered in, like, this fuzzy stuff. Hmm. Right? You see that? 
Oh, what about you, girl? Do you like it? She's <laughs> so chill when you hold her. When I hold her, she's like climbing up my face. <laughs> I'm like, what yeah. are you doing? Okay, so that's cute. I'm gonna put these back over here. And then there's one more. The last time they sent me a big thing like this, I made an arrangement and I gave it to a coworker for like her Thanksgiving table and she loved it. So I'll have to see if, if anybody's in the market for an arrangement. That one's actually pretty. Is it blooming? It looks like it is yeah, blooming. Yeah, a couple little blooms coming out. Like a very a blue bird. Blooms. Nice. Cover your face. There we go. <laughs> That's fine. Just dirt everywhere. Cute. So ideally this would like kind of go. That's too big for that. It's <laughs> definitely. When like, I do an arrangement yeah. though, I really love making succulent arrangements. I just never like film it because you guys usually don't care. Some people do, but. It's okay, Mandy. We're just chilling. Unboxing some succulents. You can always watch it back. Nothing crazy. Nothing, you know, insane going on here. We've got this cute um, heart-shaped planter. That was, I should have gotten it before Valentine's Day so that I could do like promotional stuff with it for them, but better late than never, right? And it even came with some decorative moss. I prefer pebbles, but I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Should I do a succulent arrangement in here or should I put some cacti? Are cacti too aggressive to go inside of a heart planter? I mean, like, it, I does don't know. It it's, not, it's does it not work? No, I think it's all right. All right. Well, that's that. That's everything from the next gardener. And now, oh, you're sitting on it. Oops. I'm really excited Keep it for this for one. <laughs> I care. I'd like some more help with succulents. Yeah, they're not as easy as as people make them out to be. So I'm really excited for this one. This is from somebody in Massachusetts who makes repotting mats. And you guys, I have these just like really cheap ones from Amazon. I've never had a nice one before and I got into contact with her because she actually sells her stuff at the plant ward and I posted on my Instagram if anybody was interested in you know getting together with me for my next giveaway and she was like yes I would love that so definitely keep your eyes open for that probably the beginning of March I'm gonna be posting that on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go and do that so you don't miss out on those giveaways. And you can win one of these. I'm just really excited to like finally have a nice one. So she wanted to send me one for me to use in my videos and be able to show you guys up close and personal, why can I not figure out how to get in this bag? This is really entertaining. You know, I feel you judging me <laughs> <laughs> the way that I went Absolutely. about this. I mean, it's a cute bag. You got it. Woo! And it's still wrapped. Yeah. Well, she did a really good job with the packaging. Yeah. I will be saving this bubble wrap. With the floof. Always save the floof. If you guys ever get dirty flu <laughs> with your plants, you know why. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at how pretty it is. There's some stickers. <laughs> What's your guys? Stop. Stop it. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. And it comes, I gotta show you because her packaging is so cute with this mm -hmm. little pin. That's her logo. Mats by Cat. I'm obsessed. Look at the texture. Yeah, it's freaking iridescent. This is the mermaid one. Mer I forget the name exactly. But I picked it because it reminds me of, of the snake. It's got like the, the same shape as the scales. And she's shiny too. She is. But look at it, you guys. What? 
Jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Is this not beautiful? It's weird how it's like see-through. I know, but then <gasps> it's so nice. Oh my gosh, her little logo on there. I can't stand it. That's so cute. And it rolls up all nice and small. Look at it. It's perfect. It's showing up. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. You don't even know. Um, it's no, showing it's up more crazy. like yellow because of the frame plate, but it's mostly like like a pinkish purple, purple and kinda, blue. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it looks yellow on camera. How big is it? Light. It's like 18 inches, maybe. I don't know. I don't Across. see the tape right there. Not no. I don't know. She has the different sizes. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, so mats by cat. I can't like link it because. Um, yeah, you got about like a 14 by 14 ish. A little more than a foot. Sure. This is the cutest little pin. And then she sends stickers. Ha! That is so freaking cute. It's so cute. So that's that. I'm pretty excited about that, you guys. And if you want to win one, like I said, I'm really excited for this giveaway. I have some really awesome people that are going to be part of it. I haven't decided Look, what plant I'm going to give away yet. got to be prepared. Just well, I have it here for the packages to like measure <laughs> if I have to like put them in a... No, you're ruining it. ...different it's, box it's, that's were, like... Fine, it's all her fault. Not it's a UPS there. box. Whatever. I did not do that well at all. You're doing fine. I got this. You only hit yourself in the face with it once. Plants and cat. I hit myself in the face with like everything. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. It's ridiculous. Boom. Nice and compact. This is going to go away really easily. Not mad about it. Thanks, girl. I'm so excited. Really, really excited to have her um, be part of the giveaway. Not just because... Her stuff is cute, but because she's local and doing it all by herself. All right. That's really it, you guys. I have one more thing that I got in the mail today, if you want to see it. It's not exciting, but it is, like, a sponsor. So I'm going to be doing, like, a full-on video about it, and it is the Rainpoint um, drip irrigation system for indoor plants. <laughs> so we're going to set this up. Yeah, I'm going to need your help figuring this out. Okay. <laughs> we're going to set this up. I mean, it seems pretty like self-explanatory. I just need like to figure out a way to put it in a bucket of water. I was hoping maybe I could just use that thing, but I don't know if the top of it's big enough. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. So we'll find out. stay tuned. For this review, I'm going to get this set up at some point. Yeah, I have a really hard time remembering to water some of my plants up in the greenhouse. So when they reached out to me and asked me um, if I wanted to give it a go, I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it can't, it can't hurt, right? Like, maybe it'll help me keep some of those plants alive and then if if we ever go away for more than like a couple of days at a time I at least don't have to worry about a handful of plants up there right so yeah that's that stay tuned for that um I could hang out for like another 10 minutes or so if you guys want to if you have any questions yes don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the Nothing notification bell like, so you don't miss anything from me. Wait, is it the wrong time to do that? It's the wrong time. Yeah, I mean, it is a good <laughs> idea to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I do these random lives. I'm obsessed good. with this sticker. The sticker is so stinking cute. It's a good one. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I don't want to... She's so, like, cozy-wozy. I don't want to... You just see her little snoot in there. Yeah. Yeah, she's just chilling. I gotta clean out her enclosure. She pooped. It happens. So proud of my girl when she poops. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I love my snake. Okay. Hi, Frosty. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? Good? 
Can we see your plugs closer up? Yeah, sure. They're like, they're called saddle plugs. So they like um, go in your ear only like halfway, kind of. I don't know, thought they were cute. And then it's like the mother of pearl. Yeah, yeah, I need to order some new pairs. I had some really cute spiral ones, but they all fell out of my ears and broke because they were made out of glass. So that was a bad choice on my part. Homesick from work, but at least I didn't miss any videos. Lately. Feel better and drink water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you planning on getting more snakes? Yes. She's trying to set Tell up. Tell her what we want next. She's trying to set up my other one. Sorry, I have to blow my a, nose. She's trying to set up my other one with a with a man so we can have little snake Penny? babies happening yes yeah so penny is a, a blue-eyed leucistic yeah. ball python um she's what four penny years old Penny is a lot bigger she's than, a big girl she's, she's, like a little rage. she's ready she's ready to have babies and i mean like the season is from like soon and through october so i'm kind of like <laughs> Yeah, I'd take her out now, but you'd probably watch your viewership and just, like, plummet. You know? <laughs> no, she's, there's she's, not that many people on it anyway. Bigger. Um, yeah, so we definitely want to get another one of those. I want to get a rainbow boa, and then I want to get another male blood boa that is slightly different genetically. So she is actually a het blood boa, which means that her, she's heterozygous, so she only has one blood boa gene and one other gene, so that's why she's more brown than red. So if we got a male that had two blood boa genes, then he would present more visually red, <laughs> and then they could have babies <laughs> that are more red. Well, yes, it's a thing. It is a thing. I, I, mean, I like I've had, genetics. So, genetics had, are fun. I've had Penny for over for four years i think she's yeah. four and so i've had the snake bug they're great pets for sure so and mostly they just do they just fall asleep give us them. like four or five years and we'll be selling snakes too that's right <laughs> i'm not joking though <laughs> i'm laughing but i'm not joking i, I want to breed them and and you know sell plants and snakes it's yep. not it's not a crazy combination Pleptons we were at the reptile expo and i saw a philodendron upi for like 150 bucks i was like who would buy a rare philodendron or an uncommon philodendron for their snake to climb on or for their reptile to climb on and ruin it because they're just gonna squish it she ruins yeah. everything i put in there yeah we did catch the snake bug yeah well, I did. Yeah, he's already got it, like he said. <laughs> I fell into a YouTube rabbit hole about snake genetics a while back. Super interesting stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much all I watch now. <laughs> I did boas no, first. Now I'm trying to learn more about, like, the different python morphs and, like, just how to recognize them and, like, which ones I really want to, like, invest in because you can't do it all. Um, I'm glad we started out with blood boa though i think the genetics on these are are pretty fun and they're pretty simple it's a recessive gene yeah so it'll be a fun project and then you know who knows what we'll move on to next we definitely have our preferences so beware um, there might be a third channel one of these days <laughs> just about <laughs> reptiles because not everybody like wants to see it on the plant thing so right yeah penny is stunning there's something about ball pythons they just have like the cutest noses like yeah, boas boas have really cute faces too but there's something about python faces that are just their, their snoot is like more rounded i feel yeah, like they're just they're they they're look like puppies to me derpy is they what are is. really they're derpy. derpy i don't know how anybody could ever be afraid of a ball oh, python oh no, they're like it's, I tell they people, literally just do this pretty much except for like in a knot they knot themselves yeah. up and just sit there if you're a dog person like the equivalent is like I'm a pug snake snoot. so they're like the pugs of the snake world <laughs> yeah i love i love genetics i'm kind of a nerd for stuff like that so when i found out that i could breed snakes and make cool patterns and colors and stuff i was like yes because i keep trying to 
to cross my Hoya blooms and they hate me. So, and even if you do everything right, they might still just be like, nah, I'm good. So, not that snakes are easier, but you have more of a guarantee. You just need a male and a female, and as long as they don't hate each other, like, they'll breed, you yeah, know? you put them like, in there, you put a little curtain over it, play some Marvin Gaye, <laughs> you know, a little bit of let's get oh, it on. Snakes, no. You know? I've been... Like that with tarantulas. All I do is watch tarant. I don't. I can't get on the tarantula thing. Yeah, they're. When it has so many legs like that, it freaks me out. <laughs> so you went with no legs. <laughs> you know what? That's a solid. The point, less legs, though. the easier. I never really thought about it yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, something white, right? right? You can can't get watch enough it back. for your love, We're gonna leave Yeah, soon. I could. I could see that. <laughs> We're just being goofy now for the last few minutes. We'll set up the little heart planter in there, you know, like. Yeah, I do. I want to redo good. her, her thing and put more <laughs> plants in there. So funny. I'm. I'm just saying. Penny could probably eat Finley. She wouldn't know what to do. She can't. She has a hard time finding the head on the rats <laughs> yeah, that we give her. Finley's huge. her chihuahua. Oh, gotcha. She's yeah. not She's not like that. She would just be afraid of him. She wouldn't know what to do. You ever seen somebody get like a like a Subway sandwich, but just eat it sideways? Like, that's what she tries to do. She's She tries hard. I want to read her. No, I want to breed her. <laughs> <laughs> One day you're going to have really cute little babies. Yeah. yeah. They're so cute. I can't stand you. I want to squeeze you, but you don't like it. Do that. That's her job. I know. I like tarantulas if there's glass in between us. Yeah, those little, like, jumping spiders are really cute, too. But I feel like I would be afraid that I would accidentally <laughs> kill it. Because if it, like, just, like... My instinct sometimes when I'm not thinking Smash when something <laughs> jumps at me or on me or is crawling on me is to like hit it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be here, it'd be all cute. And then the be amount like, of times that I did know? that with like an insect and then felt bad afterwards as it was like smeared across my arm, and I'm just like, oh no. Okay, so when I was much younger, I had a pet tarantula. And uh, it was a rose hair tarantula. I never handled it because it freaked me out. I just thought it was really interesting. Weird. I didn't know that they molted. So one day <laughs> I woke up and there were two tarantulas in there. And I was really freaked out uh, until I realized, like, oh, that's just, like, it's just its old clothes. Like, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I'm just really glad humans don't do that. I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it if like, I could just, like, shed my skin. Sweetheart, and, like, you left your skin suit in the bathroom again. New, like, you know. like, young skin underneath it. Yeah. Well, I have a new thing coming in the mail soon, weird. you guys. I have a lot of fun stuff coming in the mail um, that's supposed to, like, be good for your skin. So, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, jumping spiders are so adorable. Um, a kindergarten class had a pink toed tarantula that was pretty cute. Oh, so they literally toes. have pink toes? Yeah. Well, you paint them. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, nail polish. That reminds me <laughs> of the, the tomato, what was it? Tomato frog? Tomato toad? It looked like a tomato. It literally looked like a tomato. Yeah, those are weird. Yeah, we saw some weird stuff at the expo that I, I only, like, showed the snakes, though. But... That's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. Um, for those of you who didn't catch the live, thanks for watching the replay. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You guys know the drill. I don't have to tell you to subscribe because it would be pretty weird if you weren't a subscriber, but you were just like hanging out in my live stream randomly on a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> Um, definitely make sure you have the notification bell turned on so that you don't miss when I just like randomly decide to go live and then do it two hours from then. I try to give you like a warning, but um, sometimes it's fun to just be spontaneous. Thank you, Angela. You as well. There's a little spider living in my plant room and it molted on a spine of one of my cacti. Permanent ghost spider. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so funny. There's nothing you can really do about that. I usually leave the little baby spiders alone when I find them in the plants. They're, they they eat the bugs. So. Alright, we're those gonna say bye. Bye. There she is. Go cover my face so I can focus yeah. on her. Look goes. at how freaking cute she is.
She's pretty cute. I'm obsessed with her. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. And um, thanks for hanging out with me, too. No, sure. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I live here, so it's all good. <laughs> I know. He was like, wait, am I going to be on the live? I'm like, I don't know. Do you want to be on the live? So, sweet girl. Okay, anyway, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with, I think, I don't know, some plant shopping, maybe. Don't hold me to it. Okay.